What's up everyone, hope you guys are, are doing okay. The purpose of this short video is to address some hot topics that's been going on in the Boruto series. I'm sure most of us who follow the Boruto anime and read the manga are all fans of the Naruto series as a whole and want the series to succeed. Before I make my main points, I do want to highlight that stories like Boruto do require patience and that there must be some sort of planning behind some of the decisions that they made so far, like why Boruto doesn't really have a solid goal to strive for, and that being a Shadow Hokage is still a fake concept for a main character to have, and why Kawaki has become the de facto main character of the series, which is something I don't think the writers were trying to do at first. But over time, it's starting to look like it's Kawaki's story instead. In my opinion, the reason why Kawaki has been the main focus since he first appeared is his character backstory is a familiar one and mirrors, mirrors Naruto's story a lot, with both Kawaki and Naruto going through real difficult backgrounds and growing up in a world where you're expected to look after yourself and not having any support such as family or friends to lean on. With a backstory like that, it's kind of hard to root against such a character, right? Now here we got Boruto on the other side who is the polar opposite to the circumstances I just described, having a loving family and friends to support on and doesn't really have anything to complain about. Apart from in the beginning he had issues with his father Naruto who was the leader of the village not having enough time to spend with his family and later on with the Otatsuki village, sorry with the Otatsuki attack on the village. Boruto sees and learns the importance of his father and gains valuable, valuable experience from the incident. The issue here with Boruto has always been in my opinion not having a real solid goal to get behind to. With other characters from other series, their goals are very clear from the start. Like Deku from My Hero Academia wanting to be the best superhero in his world, Asta from Black Clover aspires to be a king, Goku wants to be the strongest and so on. Now, does that mean Boruto has to imitate these characters and be like his father and go after the title of Hokage? The answer for me is no. A character that I feel resembles Boruto in some ways in terms of goals is Ichigo from the Bleach series, someone who didn't really set out to be a soul reaper, but rather events would take place around him, whether that was in his city, home, school, or with his friends and families. Events would happen that would require Ichigo to react and force him to protect, fight, defend or attack whoever or whatever is challenging him and along the way you have a cast that complement his character without feeling like one is trying to replace the other which is what I feel is going on with Kawaki who as a character is more impressionable to the reader and right now the story is going through him and what I mean by that is if you study the cur current Boruto timeline after Kawaki's arri arrival we get an introduction to Kara and its members, most notably Jigen, a Karma user, and we find out later on is a failed vessel of Ishiki and Otetsuki who was paired with Kaguya before Kaguya turned on him. And as we go through the plot, Kawaki's arrival signaled the true beginning of the main story, especially after the events of Momoshiki implanting his karma on Boruto, and subsequently the focus has stayed on him ever since, with characters all having him as their goal, whether that was Jigen, Amado, Naruto as his, as his guardian, Ada, and Code. Now I know some will say this is what storytelling is about, and I would agree with you totally, but the issue here is with a monthly chapter and and a story feeling like it's going at a slow pace, that the story would be more balanced and the anime act as the complete story to the manga. But I think what has happened, but well, what I think has happened, is that whether it's Kishimoto or the TV studios or the people behind the Boruto anime, Boruto has become a Naruto 2.0. Not saying he wants to be a Hokage, but rather symbolizing the Yang principle or light. Meaning Boruto's character is about friendship, love, understanding, and Kawaki's character would push against that. But the issue with that is we've already seen that with Naruto and Sasuke, both yin and yang, light and dark coming together to be whole. And I read a comment that said Boruto is Sasuke without the tragedy that happened to him, and Kawaki is a Naruto who didn't find Iruka. And even though I think that's a great point, I just that still doesn't change the roles that both Kawaki and Boruto play. And if you're an anime watch, watcher, the recent arc showed us those two principles really well 
with Boruto resorting to talk no jutsu and trying to appeal to Ikidai's heart, whereas Kawaki was straight to the point and killed the Funato leader. Do I think this was the plan for Boruto and Kawaki at the start? The answer is no. I feel like with Kawaki's arrival, it became an easy trope for the writers to fall for, and instead of exploring the dynamics of Momoshiki wreaking havoc on Boruto's mind and showing signs of Boruto withdrawing from his friends and family and his personality slowly changing, instead we focus on Kawaki and what's going on with him, which I feel has done a disservice to Kawaki's character which is a good one to have, but at the moment there's just no balance and Boruto chapter 71 didn't do us any favor by code wanting to turn Kawaki's life into a living hell because of his own jealousy and insecurity. I think with Kishimoto writing the manga you can tell his formula with the Naruto manga with part 1 focusing on Sasuke and the second half being a bit more balanced with each character having their own mountain to climb a la Naruto and Nagato and Sasuke and Itachi before both of them coming together in the end. At the moment I just don't see that for Boruto and I hope his goals or motivations is addressed before Kawaki leaves the village since it would become obvious what Boruto will do next and it will help the rest of the cast members find their place in the story instead of feeling like props to fill the pages. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, what are your views on this topic? I know it's a hot issue to talk about and my intentions are for the story to be the best one out there. Please share your thoughts and opinions, leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.